math time. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the six trigonometric ratios. Solving a right triangle given the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg. Solving a right triangle given the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg. Suppose this would gonna be our problem. In this illustration, we are asked to find the measure of angle A, so right here, and the measure of angle B. Okay, that one. And the length of side A. So where is side A? So this would gonna be our side A. Well, of course, if this would be our side A, this would be our side C, which is our hypotenuse. And our side B would gonna be equal to 5. Okay, so this is very easy. Right here, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So we could find the length of the side A. Okay, so we could have the first one. By the way, let's write first what are the given. Okay, so we have side C. Okay, that is 13, which is referred to as our hypotenuse. And side B is equal to 5. So we have A is equal to unknown. And we are also looking for the measure of angle A. And the measure of angle B. Okay, first up, we have to solve first the measure of, okay, solve for the measure, solve for measure of angle A. Okay, solve for the measure of angle A. So if this is going to be the angle, so therefore, uh, from the given, we have adjacent, so since A is our opposite, and B is our adjacent, and C is our hypotenuse. So from the given, we have to make case of what is given. So adjacent and hypotenuse. So if you're going to take a look with the mnemonic device, what is, uh, what particular uh, equation are we going to use? Is it sine, cosine, tangent, or cosecant, second, or cotangent? So from the given, we have adjacent and hypotenuse. So therefore, we can make use of ka. Okay? Which means cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So right here, we have cosine A, or angle A rather. Alright, so that way is equal to adjacent, that is B, over the hypotenuse. So as we're going to uh, substitute, you would have it here. Therefore, what is the value of our B? That is 5 over 13. That is cosine angle A. Or we could also write as cosine A, no more symbol for the angle. So, we're looking for the measure of angle A, right? So, we have to uh, have the inverse of cosine. So, we're going to transfer cosine there. So, therefore, angle A is equal to inverse cosine of 5 over 13. Alright. So, what is the value of inverse cosine? You can make use of your calculator. So, angle A is equal to inverse cosine 5 over 13. And that will give us 67.38. Okay? So, degrees. So, measure of angle A is equal to 67.38 degrees. So, we need to say this one is 67.38 degrees. Knowing that this is the right angle. So, Next up, we will look for the measure of angle B. Okay, so this is going to be easy for us now to solve for the measure of angle B since we already have these two angles given. And remember that in a right triangle or any triangle, the totality measures of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. 
So therefore, we could have solve for measure of angle B. So from there, the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so since there is already 90, so these two will also be equivalent of 90 degrees. They are uh, complementary angles. Okay, so right here, 90 minus the measure of angle A. Knowing that, we got already the measure of angle A here. So this is measure of angle A. So 90 degrees minus 67.38 degrees. So therefore, you would have 22.62 degrees. So that is now the measure of angle B. Is that clear now? Okay, so we have already solved that the measure of angle A is equal to 67.38 degrees. And measure of angle B is 22.62 degrees. Because if we're going to combine them together, that will give us equivalent exactly 90 degrees. And last one that we're going to look for is the length of side A. This one. Okay, so this is very easy. So we'll just make this or use the Pythagorean Theorem. All right. So what does Pythagorean Theorem states? Theorem. Okay, in the right triangle, the hypotenuse, or the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. So in here, our hypotenuse is 13 and our side is 5 and the unknown, that is A. So therefore, you would have the square of the hypotenuse that is represented by C. So C square is equal to the side, the squares of the two legs, the A and B. So you have A square plus the B square. So substitute, this would gonna be 13 square is equal to A, that's the unknown, plus B which is 5. So therefore, we simplify what is 13 square. That will give us 169. A square plus what is 5 square? That is 25. We're looking for the value of our A. So this 25 here will be transferred on the other side. So therefore, you would have therefore A square is equal to 169. So as we transfer, that becomes negative 25. So what is 169 minus 25? Well, of course, that would give us 144. So, A square is equal to 144. Are we going to stop it here? No. Since we're looking for the value of A alone. So, we have to take the square root. Square root. Square root of A square. That will give us A equals what is square root of 144. And that is 12. So, this value now, which is 12, that is what we are looking for as uh, of this illustration. So this would gonna be equal to 12 units. Okay? So again, the measure of angle A is equal to 67.38 degrees. And measure of angle B is equal to 22.62 degrees. And our side A is equal to 12 units. Are there questions? Okay. Example number two. Triangle SPA is a right angle at P. If side P is equal to 23 centimeters and side S is equal to 17 centimeters, find the measure of angle A, measure of angle S, and the side A. So if we're going to illustrate, this would gonna be the figure. All right. So again, S, P, A. Okay, we have right angle here at angle P. Where side P, this, uh, this side in here is 23 centimeter. And side S, this one, is equal to 17 centimeter. Okay, what we are asked here is the measure of angle A, this angle here. Measure of angle S, this one, 
and of course our side A this one okay so from the given again let's write so from the given we have side P is equal to 23 centimeter side S is equal to 17 centimeter and we are asked to find the measure of angle A okay measure of angle S and of course the length of side A all right so again and again our given here is uh, we only have side S and of course this one is our hypotenuse we do not know what kind of side is that would that be opposite or uh, adjacent okay so let us solve for the measure of angle let's say let's start from here angle s okay so to solve for the measure of angle s you have then the opposite side is already given and we have the hypotenuse which is 23 okay so meaning well, uh, among the six trigonometric ratios which do you think is most suited or trigonometric ratio can be used for us to find the measure of angle s so right here we could have so why because from the given we have opposite and we have also here the hypotenuse value so you can have sine angle s is equal to opposite that is side s over the hypotenuse that is side p so let's uh, substitute so this would gonna be 17 centimeter over 23 centimeter so sine angle s so take the inverse of sine since we're looking only for the value of angle s so you would have angle s is equal to inverse sine that is 17 over 23 so what is the value that will give us 47.66 degrees so that is the measure of angle s okay so we already have this value here this uh, this means this is 47.66 degrees of course these two angles angle s and angle a are complementary angles since if we're going to combine them together this would give us 90 degrees plus 90 a total of 180 degrees so to solve for the measure of okay solve for the measure of angle A okay so to solve for that one therefore you would have measure of angle A is equal to 90 degrees minus the measure of this one angle S well actually you can still make use of the six trigonometric ratios if you would have to solve for the measure of angle A Okay, but this is gonna be, I think, the best way or SES way for us to solve for this. Okay, so therefore you would have 90 minus 47.66 degrees. So this will give us definitely 42.34 degrees. And that is the measure of angle A. Okay? So from here, the measure of this angle here is 42.34 degrees. If we're going to combine 47.66 plus 42.34 degrees, that is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so uh, what's the remaining unknown here? So we have this one already. This is angle A is 42.34 degrees. This one is 47.66 degrees. Okay, what is left here, uh, what is unknown here again is the side A. So to solve for side A, you would have solved for side A. Okay, 
So, make use of the Pythagorean theorem. So, again, for the Pythagorean theorem, it's stating that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. Alright, so, our given here is the hypotenuse is side P. So, P square is equal to, we have side S square plus A square. Okay? So, substitute. So, this would gonna be 23 square. Okay, equals, what is side S? That is 17. 17 square, square rather, I'm sorry. A square. So you have therefore A square is equal to 23 square. What is 23 square? Equivalent of 529. Okay, minus, so as we transfer 17 square on the other side, that will become negative. So what is 17 square, a square rather? That is 280. Nine. So as we subtract, okay. So as we subtract 529, uh, uh, I mean 289 from 529. That is, you will have 240. So a square is equal to 240. So take the square root. Square root. That is a. Therefore, uh, can we still simplify this one? Mm, I think we'll just leave that one as 240. So you have 240 or that is similar to 15.49 centimeter. So that is now the length of our side A. Okay. So from this illustration, we've solved that this segment here or side A is equal to 15.49 centimeter. Okay, are there any questions? All right.